we come, as we gather back together, um, two and a half years ago when I came to this church, um, I knew there was a great history of student ministry, um, of people who were pouring their lives in students, not just um, the incredible history of the youth pastors that came before me, um, but of all the youth interns and youth leaders and sponsors um, that loved on teenagers in this church. And one of them was Will Adams, and it's my privilege to um, have him come forward. He's an elder in the church um, to give his elder testimony for the summer. Good morning. Uh, I am Will Adams, and I, I serve on your session. And as Josh said, I spent many years going on trips to Jamaica and summer youth trips and, 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 and got a lot out of it myself and, and feel like God used me in many ways. Um, it's my privilege this morning to share my testimony. Uh, it, it's a great testimony. Uh, first off, I've got a tremendous testimony of a long heritage of believers in my family. Um, a long heritage of believers in this church. Uh, my grandparents, um, some may have known Dr. and, and Mrs. Tom, uh, met on the steps of the church. Uh, my parents got married right here 35 years ago. Uh, I met my wife in 2006 back there in this service on that pew and uh, have baptized both of our children here, uh, Bailey over there in a the pink dress and, and, and her sister Kate. Um, so for good reason, we love this church and, and we call it home. Um, with this heritage, sometimes it can be hard to, to know when you met Jesus because you grew up hearing about him and you, you, it's always been a part of my life uh, since I can remember. But I do remember a time at summer camp where, where I came to know a personal relationship with Christ uh, that is with me, with me today. Uh, today, more than ever, what's going on in, in my life as a son, a father, a husband, uh, I can see the Lord changing me daily um, as I live in the world around me, as I, as I experience living life with a Christian worldview, uh, if everything I do uh, from the small things uh, to the big things. Um, I, we as a body, have a unique opportunity to, uh, to share the love of Christ all over, all over the city, all over the world. Uh, whether it's at work, going the extra mile because you're doing your work as under the Lord, uh, whether it's in a stressful situation, staying calm because you know God's in control, uh, or simply if it's if a friend calls you up instead of maybe saying good luck, maybe saying a prayer for him. Uh, and that's a story I want to share. About a last, week before last, we were on family vacation. And on Thursday morning, eight o'clock, I get a call from a from a friend of mine. He's telling me just what's on his what's on his mind, what what, what meetings he has that day, and, and they're weighing on his mind. And you know, we talk about it. And ordinarily, I'd say, you know, well, good luck, do your best, you know, go get him, Tiger. Uh, but I, but I took him in and I said, well, let me pray for you right here on the phone. And uh, and we prayed, and and it was so wonderful because we both knew, you know, that, that God's will would be done, and that, that we exist to know and to serve serve Jesus Christ and, and that things work out for the better, you know, but the real testimony in that story is, is not that, that I prayed for somebody and they felt the love of Christ. That's, that's obvious, but it's that it changed me through serving um, and being obedient uh, to, to Christ. Uh, and one thing I, I'm continuing to learn and be humbled by is that God doesn't need my talents or my efforts to accomplish his ministry in the world. He's going to do it, but he wants to. He wants to be able to reflect his love to the world out of my relationship with him. Uh, the picture I have is the latter part of the 23rd Psalm. It says, it talks about the cup overflowing is how we should minister. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all of the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Sometimes the Lord using me is, is, is in the form of a very specific task, that fits very perfectly into my schedule. But ordinarily, more often than not, it's when it inconveniences my plan, maybe on vacation, uh, because he's also working in my life. Uh, there's been time after time when this is the case, but I always continue to be reminded of, um, I must increase, I must decrease so he can increase, as it says in John 3.30. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to me this morning. Amen, Will. That is a fantastic testimony. Um, God is a faithful God. He loves us.